Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing y'all how to get this super glowy, super natural, super pretty, dewy, glowy, beautiful look that just enhances your natural skin. There is no powder. This face is not set. And I have my natural hair. I just got out of the shower, but I'm just really trying not to put as much heat on my hair and I literally just kill these little babies every day. We're just rocking the natural face, the natural hair. I literally love this look so much. This makes my skin feel so good. It just feels so naturally this beautiful and I have a lot of spots right now. Oh, this just has given me so much confidence and happiness right now. Not saying that I didn't have confidence before, just saying. This technique was definitely inspired by by Samantha Ravendahl and Rob Beauty Christie. Those are two people that I watch that really just inspire me in my makeup techniques and neither of them set their face with powder and Samantha has started doing this thing where she does products before her like foundation. I definitely took a lot of tips from her and I feel like my camera has turned red a lot during this video and I don't catch it sometimes. Sorry if it turns red, I think it's just because of this blue background. It's kind of like throwing it off. So yeah, I really hope y'all enjoy the video and let's just get started. I've washed and moisturized my skin and to moisturize I use the e.l.f. daily hydration moisturizer and on top I put the elf nourishing facial oil they've been sinking in for about like 30 to 40 minutes the skin is pretty pretty oh my god today I'm going to be doing all cream makeup I never ever thought I would do this ever in my life I love my AOA studio perfect setting powder it literally makes everything look so good and flawless I've done this makeup look twice and I feel like I've perfected it and I actually have some more spots than normal. I'm just gonna go ahead and get started because there's nothing else to talk about. I'm gonna prime with my Wet n Wild Dewy Primer which might be kind of a surprise just because the skin's already gonna be so dewy because it's not gonna be set. I love it like super super dewy looking. The reason I'm not using the e.l.f. one because everything isn't gonna be set like it's already gonna be moisturized. So I just don't want any more moisture. I'll just go over it with the sponge. After that now this is like super old so it's probably honestly not a thing anymore but just take your cream bronzer because this is the only like cream bronzer that i like the maybelline fit me shine free foundation stick in 330 i just take it and put it right there and i just dot it up here and this kind of dries powdery that's why i do it under makeup just because i don't want it to be harsh the only actual brush that i use in here besides my sponge is this elf small stipple brush this just blends it out the easiest the quickest this is very difficult to do. And this normally takes me 10 minutes, maybe. Since I'm filming, it's probably gonna take way longer. Since I do have spots, I'm going to put the concealer on under the BB cream. Samantha Avondale, she's been doing this new technique to where she does like everything under her light coverage foundation. If there is a harsh dot, then it won't be noticeable. And the thing with this, since I don't use powder, normally I have to exfoliate my skin every time before I do my makeup, or at least the day of, or it won't look good. My skin is so dry. The other day, I maybe had washed my face that morning, but I just washed it. Like, it wasn't exfoliated. Since you're not setting it, there's no dry patches to cling to. And I'm just using my Haley Studio Mimi cream. This makeup actually has lasted. I fell asleep on my face both times, and it still looked good. But I wore this in my other favorites of 2018. And for concealer, once again, I use my Makeup Revolution Concealer and Fine. I take a little dot like that. I take that much, and I drag it under my eyes and on top of my eyelid. It doesn't cover up all the dark circles, but it just evens it out so much that just like changes your whole face. So me might scream at me at this because I said no powder. One thing that's always really kept me from doing this kind of makeup is my under eyes. Creasing to me is whenever you do this and then like you can see where the product has like collected in the creases. If you blend them out and then set it with powder, then you won't have that problem. I'm going to cheat and use powder. I'm just using what's on the lid which is nothing because like okay uh, uh, uh. it's like if you're putting eyeshadow on your lower lash line that's what i'm doing i'm gonna take the other side so there isn't any and then i'm just gonna blend it out and make sure there's no lines or anything now my very under eye is set and like i don't have to worry about it i can't stand seeing other people where their concealer has like collected under their eyes i just Hate it. That's the one thing that I change. I do use powder, but literally nowhere else. Just if you do this, that little socket part, you could go in and set your blemishes to make sure that they stay, but I don't really care. I was obviously using my AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder. What spawned this whole idea basically was this AOA Studio Hush 
cream sheer blush and cozy because it's like I really want to use this with no powder I'm gonna tap in once because this is pretty pigmented and I'm gonna take it on both sides just because like that was enough product for both cheeks and I'll kind of bring it up on the nose just make sure there's no like harsh lines i already have like a pretty glowy cheek right there but <laughs> you can't just leave it like that nor ma'am so i was trying to think of what cream highlighter to do i don't really have cream highlighters in the ones that i do have i'm not really crazy about where i always layer the powder one on top this is one that i felt like in the beginning like i loved obviously because i've hit pan on it but since i've started trying to use it again i didn't really like it because i would put it on top of powder and i just felt like the powder just took it away so i was like well that's just literally perfect because you know no powder so i just take it on my finger this is lunch money by ColourPop. i really want to get flexitarian that would not really be natural with this and then since you already have that gloss you just make sure that you're putting it right on top of where your natural gloss is make sure it's up in your brow on the highest point of the cheek you can like add a little more i take it down the nose right here and i always take it on my whole nose and then avoid that little part for some reason and i take it all over the cupid's bow i really like how like a super glowy sweaty cupid's bow looks with this kind of look i just really like it and i don't do mascara with this look for my brows since this is basically it i just like giving them a little bit of something because now that i've started to do them there's no turning back so what i do this might seem crazy is i lightly underline the whole thing like from the tail to the beginning and if it gets crazy like that since you have like all cream products on it blends like super well and i take it before i do anything else because i want the cleanest part of it to be at the front and then i just take and blend the entire brow this brow pencil is so easy to maneuver you can just leave it like this obviously i was thinking of doing like a cream eyeshadow colourpop eyeshadow in cornelius this is like the kathleen knight's collab and i remember when i first got it i used this so much and it's such like a good one and done shadow all you have to do is put this on the lid and then take a brush and buff it into the crease and it just has like that nice satiny kind of look since this sets really nicely this kind of takes care of the eyelid creasing and then i'll take it and go on the lower lash line if you did this with a powder shadow you wouldn't really need to set the concealer you're putting that right where you put the powder i'm going to take this random brush and pack the product on here this brush has worked really well with it. I don't know really what, where it's from. But I'm just trying not to use my favorite brushes right now. Because after this, I'm filming my favorite brushes. <laughs> and this just evenly distributes the brush. And look up. Just look at it. Make sure everything is nice how you want it. This is so close to my skin tone that it just gives a nice depth. I'm also going to pop that highlight on the very, very inner corner. There you go. So now for the lips. What I did the other day and I really liked how it looked. This is like a super long lasting gloss. Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer in Charmer. It lasts so well but the only thing is you get that gross like rim in the inner part of the lip. I'm just going to take it and do this to see if I can prevent that from happening. As Allie Glines does, we're going to assess the situation. Make sure everything looks good. Now that everything looks good, I'm going to set it with the Morphe Continue Setting Mist just because... I don't want to use like anything with shimmer in it. I love that setting spray. I love this look so much. I feel like this is going to be my everyday makeup routine because this doesn't get that dry feeling because there's no powder except for under my eyes. Please don't boil me about that. Since there is no powder, you see the texture on your skin, but it literally just looks like if it was the texture sitting on your skin. It doesn't emphasize the texture. It only shows as it naturally shows. Mm, I'm just like feeling my skin. We're super glowy, super natural because we got the natural hair going. Like, mm. I do get smile lines, but I don't really care. Like, I've just accepted it and they don't look as bad because there's no powder on it. There you go. I'm so smiley now because I love this makeup look so much. Like, it just makes my skin feel so good. It doesn't feel like I have makeup on. My cheeks feel pretty set and there's not really any transferring. So, that's so good. If you've never tried not setting your makeup or doing a more natural version of your makeup and then not setting it, if y'all know me, I love, like, a super glowy look. So, this is right up my alley. <laughs> I love this look. If you try this look, be sure and tag me on Instagram because I want to see y'all's beautiful faces. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribed down below and please give this video a big thumbs up. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. <laughs> way too hyper. When I like get excited about something, like I get way too hyper. Plus, I've had coffee. Sorry. <laughs>